I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on simultaneous equations. We have an interesting question here involving two nonlinear equations xy equals to 12 and x minus 1 times y plus 2 equals to 15. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So we are given one equation which is xy equals to 12. Now from this equation we can always write x is equal to 12 over y. Correct. The second equation given to us is x minus 1 times y plus 2 is equal to 15. Now one way is to substitute the value of x then we have everything in y we can always solve it. Right. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is that we can actually first expand it. We'll get x, y term and then we can simplify. You could do either way, right? doesn't really matter. However, it is simpler if I first expand. So if I expand, I get x, y plus 2x minus y minus 2 equals to 15. Now, since we know that xy is 12, we can replace the term xy with 12. So, we get 12 plus 2x minus y minus 2 equals to 15. Now, taking the constants to the other side, we can write this as 2x minus y equals to 15 minus 12 plus 2. So, what we get here is 2x minus y equals to 5. 15 minus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. At this stage, we can substitute x equals to 12 over y, correct? So what we did here was, we substituted the value of x, y as 12 because of this, right? Now, we, this x value will substitute 12 over y, correct? So now we'll make this substitution. Is that clear to you? So, so we can write this as 2 instead of x I am writing 12 over y minus y equals to 5. Multiplying by y we get our quadratic equation which is 24 minus y square equals to 5y. Is that clear to you? So we have a quadratic equation to solve now. Let's bring all the terms together and solve this quadratic equation. So we can write this as y squared plus 5y and uh, minus 24 equals to 0. Taking all these terms to the right side. So y squared becomes positive minus 24. 8 times 3 is 24. So we could write this as y plus 8 since we have plus 5 here and y minus 3 equals to 0. So that gives us two solutions. One is y equals to minus 8. The other one is y equals to 3. Now for these solutions of the value of y, we can actually find the value of x. So, so we get the value of x. If I substitute y equals to minus 8, x is equals to 12 over minus 8, which is dividing by 4, we get minus 3 over 2, or you can write minus 1.5. For the value of y equals to 3, x is equal to 12 over 3, which means x is 4. Correct? So we get two points as our solution. The solution for this can therefore be written as minus 1.5 for y equals to minus 8 and 4 for y equals to 3. Right? So these are the two solutions for the given simultaneous equation right so i hope that makes sense the question here is a line 2x plus 5y minus 1 equals to 0 intersects the curve x square plus 5xy minus 4y square plus 10 equals to 0 at points p and q find the length of segment pq so so we are given the line which is 2x plus 5y minus 1 equals to 0. Now from this equation we can isolate one of the variables 
substitute that variable in the second equation, then we have equation in one variable and that can be solved, right? So, so we can say that 2x is equal to 1 minus 5y or x is equal to half of 1 minus 5y. So, so we get our equation simplified in the form of x equals to half 1 minus 5y. The other equation given to us is x squared plus 5xy. Let's write it down here. We have x squared plus 5xy minus 4y squared plus 10 equals to 0. Now instead of x, we'll write half of 1 minus 5y and this whole will become square, right? So slightly more complicated. 5 times x is half 1 minus 5y times y minus 4y square plus 10 equals to 0. So that becomes an equation where we have only one variable which is y. So if I open this up I get 1 over 4 and within the brackets we have 1 minus 2ab which is 10y plus 5 square 5y square which is 25y square right and uh, here we get plus 5 over 2 and we can just multiply this. We get y minus 5y squared. And then we have minus 4y squared plus 10 equals to 0. Now let's multiply everything by 4 to simplify it. So, so what we get here is 1 minus 10y plus 25y squared. Plus, when we multiply by 4, this actually gets multiplied by 4. So, we get 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 5 is 10. So, we get 10 times y minus 5y square times 4 will give me minus 16y square here. And that will be plus 40 equals to 0. So, we can now open this up. So, we have uh, the number says 1 minus 10y plus 25y squared plus 10y minus 50y squared minus 16y squared plus 40 equals to 0. So, so from here we can see that as far as the numbers are concerned 1 and 40 you can combine them so you get 41 here then the number minus 10y and plus 10y they cancel okay as far as the squares are concerned 25 minus 50 is minus 25 and then when you do minus 16 so 25 will give me 41 with a negative sign so we get negative 41 y square equals to 0 so so from here we get uh, sorry, this is 40 plus 1. So 40 plus 1, that is 40, right? So we get 41 y square equals to 41. And uh, that is to say that y is equal to plus minus 1, correct? So we get value of y as plus minus 1. Right? Now since y is plus minus 1, we can find what x is. So, so if x, if y is equal to plus 1, in that case, x will be equal to half of 1 minus 5 or half of minus 4, which is minus 2, right? And if y equals to minus 1, then x equals to half of 1 plus 5. That is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Plus 3. And therefore, the two points P and Q, we can say point P, is 
x value of let us say minus 2 with y value of 1 and the point q will be x value of 3 and the y value of minus 1. Good. So that becomes the coordinate points for x and y. So we have got the points. We need to now find the length of pq. Let's find the length now here. So for finding the distance pq, we'll use the formula that absolute value of pq is square root of, so it is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, correct? Now in our case, in our case, it is 3 minus 2, let's do, that is 3 plus 2, right, whole square, plus minus 1, minus 1, which becomes minus 2, right, minus 1, minus 1, whole square. So that gives you square root of 5 square, which is 25, plus 2 square, which is, which is 4. So we get square root of 29 as the distance, right? So therefore, the distance PQ is equal to square root of 29. So that becomes the exact solution. Now, if you have to find it to two decimal places, you can always use calculator and then figure it out, right? So square root of 29 in decimals is 5.385. So we can write this as approximately equal to 5.39 to two decimal places, right? So that is to two decimal places. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve this question. It does involve a lot of calculations. However, uh, the system of equation, which is linear versus nonlinear, involves such calculations. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.